Boostang 23T here. I'm going to do a quick installation video on how to change your spark plugs. Today I'm going to be installing the NGK's Iradium spark plugs. The model number for this is LTR7 I6 11 6510. For this installation you're going to need all these tools here. You're going to need a torque wrench, a 10 millimeter a screwdriver, a deep socket, 5 8 inch for the spark plugs with an extension of either 6 or 10. You're going to need an 8 millimeter socket and that is it. I have already removed the engine cover. Um, this one is with two 8 millimeters which you need to remove and then you're going to need a 10 millimeter. The 10 millimeters are the ones with the deep holes, um, like this one right here. And um, those are a little pain in the in the butt to get in if you don't have a deep 10 millimeter. I ended up using a regular wrench and the uh, 10 millimeter um, or whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started from the engine to get to the spark plugs you're gonna end up removing this plastic right here and you're gonna need a screwdriver which i'll show you which is the same thing you need gonna use on that far end over there for that one these right here are eight millimeters so you're gonna need an eight millimeter to remove these once these are out you pop out the the plug and then you can access these spark plugs so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these already um, and then we're gonna go to the next step so I already removed the two center runs again it's eight millimeters and these here you're gonna use a screwdriver careful to not break the, uh, the plastic there is pushed up they just come right up so let's do the other one you can also do it by hand it's just a little pressure on there um, and it slides up all right so we're gonna get to the next step um, very important you want to do this when your uh, car is cold um, do not do this while you're hot because uh, you will get burned let's go to the next stage all right for the ones that are in the so the one in the fourth are gonna use the eight millimeter socket which you need to remove which is this one right here and that one right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish removing these two and we'll go to the next step. And once you're done removing those screws these things just pop off you gotta wiggle it a little bit and they unplug. It's one it's two three and get the last one far up over there and that's four all right the rest is now taking out the actual spark plug using the five eighth inch uh, deep socket with magnet meant for spark plugs highly recommend it because you don't want this falling in um, and damaging the spark plugs um, when you're pulling it out I mean it's a little bit much easier but for the new ones it's much more of a precaution you need a magnetic one meant for the spark plugs it's a deep socket um, so let's get started all right so 
you're gonna insert this in with a deep as you notice I have a 10 inch so 6 inch will actually be a little bit too in so I'm using the 10 inch and you just gotta push really hard and then you start turning and the rest is just easy it'll start coming out so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that out do it to the other three um, finish up I'll show you how the uh, current ones look and then we're gonna insert the new ones so we'll go to the next step all right so these are all the four that are out um, they all pretty much look like this they look pretty worn out um, so maybe it still has a little bit of life in it um, the reason I'm installing these spark plugs is for two reasons um, I think I'm having a problem when I'm on idle um, but I think it's more related to the map sensor but the real reason I'm changing to the iridium spark plugs is because I'm tuning the car using atom tuned so that's why I got the uh, iridium spark plugs and these are pre-gapped from atom so uh, so from tune plus that's why I'm, I'm putting these in um, and that is it so I'm gonna go ahead and install the first one in I'll show you how it is and then we'll take it from there so here's the first spark plug I'm gonna go ahead and put it um, this is magnetic so once it's in there um, it's much easier for you to go ahead and install um, recommend che che checking the gaps make sure they're all the same um, I went ahead and I already did that so let's go ahead and install the very first one um, and then um, we'll take it from there all right this is very important why you need a magnetic one um, even though it's magnetic you want to go down in there very slowly And we can start uh, screwing them in. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. Once you're done screwing, um, you're just going to go hand tight. Um, and instead of doing the quarter turn, which is what's recommended, I'm using a torque wrench. I'm going to be using either between 12 and 18 pounds. Um, those are the numbers that are recommended. I'm most likely going to go with 18 pounds. Um, and that should do the trick so I'll show you how to do that in the next one all right guys I went ahead and I did hand tight now we're gonna do with the uh, torque wrench I have it set to 18 pounds so if you can see here um, this one um, there will be a 15 right below the 25 so once it's on zero setting it means you're on 15 so plus 3 would be 18 pounds this one is a tectin I got this on Amazon I'll link the Thing below it's not that expensive so um, what you want to do is go ahead and tighten it until it clicks that will let you know that the 18 pounds were in effect again you can do between 12 and 18 and it should be fine so let's go ahead and do that so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm on the last spark plug already so what I do is I go hand tight so I can't anymore with my hands and then with the torque wrench um, you finalize the uh, the final turns. So let me get this in here. Sorry, guys. Working with one hand here. So. Okay. So. Right, I'm gonna pause the video I'm just gonna get towards the end because um, since this is a little heavy it's hard to use with one hand but basically once I get to the last part um, I'll go ahead and show you how it uh, clicks once you hit that 18 pound torque 
right guys so here it is as you can see it's getting a little hard I can't push but if I go ahead and I do the there's the click that means I hit the 18 pound torque and that's basically it you're done installing the spark plugs now I just got to reverse the process um, and what I would do before installing the engine cover um, just start up the car make sure you don't get any errors um, and make sure the car is running good um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finalize this up here and we'll go to the next step I already put in the other three they're easy just reverse the process make sure you're going in you know straight they go in right in the uh, correct orientation anyways so Make sure you push it in. Alright, so they're all nice and in there. Now install the screws. Alright, so remember these two screws with the uh, ones with the heads are the ones for the center one. So uh, spark plug two and three for save. You're going from left to right from this view. And then these screws which have like a double screw with the, uh, sorry, double screws, but with the uh, bolt on the top, or nut, should I say, are for the outer ones. So, and the longer part is the one that goes in. And then, doesn't go in it's because the uh, plug is not properly um, aligned so you just wiggle it a little bit and that should do it um, what I'm doing here I'm just doing hand tight and then I'll come in with my tools and tighten it And once that's done, basically, I'm going to go ahead and start up the car, make sure everything is good. And if it is, I don't get any errors or a car doesn't do anything weird. Let's hope so. So crossing fingers for that. Um, we're ready to go to install the engine cover. So let's go give this a shot. All right, guys, I'm just here on the last clip here. Um, let's go ahead, see if we get any errors. Go ahead and start up the car. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got power, so that's a good thing. Go ahead and close this error. Yes, we know that the hood is open and that the engine is on. Seems to be running healthy. The idle seems to be much better. Um, but again, it's when it's heated up. So right now the the engine is still cold. So uh, most likely I won't be able to replicate until I start driving the car. So um, I'll go ahead and I'll drive it around um, within the 20, 30 mile mark range where it starts to uh, do that issue that I showed on the on another video um, and we'll see what happens um, regardless I bought the CRC uh, mass cleaner so uh, I'm gonna clean the mass airflow sensor if I were to still replicate this and I'll show a video on how to do that um, I think it's safe to say that uh, I can go ahead and install the engine cover I'm going to go ahead and do that now in the next uh, session there, and we're going to wrap this up. Alright guys, so installing the cover, um, the EcoBoost goes towards the front of the car or whatnot, or towards the window, the windshield of, uh, of the car. And then these here are the ones that are going to take the nuts. And then the other ones um, take the screw. So 
um, basically these right here go ahead and put one here and we'll put the other one over here and again those are 10 millimeters that one there is a little easy to use with a regular tool this one here if you don't have a deep socket um, you can go ahead and just use the a wrench or a pliers or whatnot to hand tight it and tighten it a little bit further um, that's that one right there then these screws here go in the other two location which is one here and these here are eight millimeter you can do it with the socket it's not that hard and the other one goes right here I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up and that is it folks um, that's how you change the spark plugs on the EcoBoost Mustang which should be the same for 2015 to 2017 um, any questions comments go ahead and write them below I'll go ahead and try to answer them as soon as possible um, have a blessed day. I'll keep you guys updated. Boostang 23T. I'm out.